world, my name is Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far, the main purpose of my blogs has been what it is like for me to live on the autism spectrum, and I like to give advice uh, to um, other people, whether they are autistic or not. I like to talk about uh, my experiences of living with autism, past and present and future, and I also uh, like to uh, dip into the autistic world and uh, talk about things that are going on in the autistic media from the latest um, autism research to the latest uh, types of um, issues of autism. Like uh, we uh, uh, recently read in the news that there was a um, young boy by the name of uh, Jeffrey Lamb that uh, is about 10 years old and uh, he was uh, beaten up by a uh, bus assistant who uh, should have known better because uh, he uh, didn't know how to handle uh, Jeffrey's situation and he ended up uh, losing his temper and hitting him just for using a few uh, swear words. And then I also had mentioned that I want to start doing live shows right here on YouTube and doing a mini Good Morning America for um, the nerd world. And I would like to cover uh, major conventions. And um, I also wanted to talk to other nerds that want to build robots like Wally -E and uh, they want to build their own Daleks. And I said I want to talk to nerdy celebrities like Stanley and. Uh, Dr. Temple Grandin, and you name it. And uh, so what better way to uh, kick that off than uh, talk about Dragon Con. So I bet everybody's really, really excited. As we know, uh, Dragon Con is a little more than two months away. And uh, I went last year. And, uh, and the reason why I'm really, really excited is because last year I worked with a really, really nice guy named Damon Wood. And if it wasn't for Damon Wood, I wouldn't be uh, blogging today. Uh, now, he and I uh, had both um, had sat down several times and uh, talked about that I have a lot on my mind and I have a lot to say uh, because of that. And I told them that I really wanted to work at Dragon Con. And so uh, Mr. Wood decided to um, get me a press pass because he is a film major and um, he has a lot of background in those areas. So when I found out I was getting a press pass to Dragon Con last year, I was so happy that I literally squealed like rarity. I, uh, for those of you who are bronies, I'm sure y'all know what I'm talking about, where uh, she was jumping up and down in front of Twilight Sparkle and, um, and squealing. That's how excited I was. And so anyway, what Damon and I did was we did not interview any celebrities. We um, ended up uh, going and... Uh, and and, yeah, and shooting footage of people walking by and we were getting them to uh, shout the words hello world hello world hello world you know which was uh, probably one of the most epic parts of it and then there was some uh, there was a time where uh, we had videotaped a um, a gentleman by the name of Stephen Ramsden and uh, Stephen works for a special uh, solar astronomy group that goes to various schools across uh, Georgia and he teaches them about live astronomy and gets them interested in um, science. And he mainly works, or he mainly works with um, with astronomy. And uh, you know, on the roof of the Hilton, they had all kinds of information about our sun, and they had some uh, solar telescopes out, and they were filtered, to, and they had special glasses that you could wear to, so you could look at the sun. And uh, which was really cool and I think it was one of my favorite things about going was I could sit and stare at the Sun um, and uh, and just interview the um, interview the guys that were working on this project and then we had also gone to um, the writers track and uh, listened to um, a new panelist talk about uh, uh, learning how to write a uh, story within one hour and uh, really talking about how to build up the structure and uh, it was just uh, it was just a really really fun day and I don't think I'm ever going to look at Dragon Con the same way again and then because I had a press pass I was able to uh, stand with other people from the media uh, from uh, Georgia Public Television and uh, just different media groups and um, 
I was able to uh, get footage from the parade and take pictures. It was uh, it was really really a lot of fun, and uh, I had hoped to get another press pass this year, but sadly I did not get that press pass. Why? Well, it turned out that uh, the Dragon Con media relations uh, had to start cracking down due to some serious issues, and I don't want to discuss it over the air because um, some of that stuff might be confidential. But they said that I was more than welcome to um, go and do my blogs at Dragon Con, but it looks like the money is going to have to come out of my own pocket this year. And so what I have done to... Um, uh, to uh, raise the money is there's an organization called GoFundMe Now, or, no, or not GoFundMe Now, it's called GoFundMe.com. And um, for those of you that are fans of Dragon Con, I want to let each and every one of you know that um, I need help getting to Dragon Con since I'm limited on funds and I'm still looking for a second part time job. So um, until next time, my name is Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off. And one more thing, I really hope to see you at DragonCon this year. Bye.